Hey guys, the Chief Ash here again for another edition of October Quest. Today, I will be talking about my favorite zombie movie. My favorite zombie movie, and I say zombie because it's a zombie movie, is 28 Days Later. Now, let me elaborate. I have a friend, don't know who it was, I can't remember who it was, so... Whoever it is, if they see this, you can stay in the shadows if you want. But if you want to come out, we can come out. But one night we decided, hey, let's go watch 28 Days Later. It's an entertaining movie. Whatever. And I was like, yeah, I love zombie movies. And his first reaction was, 28 Days Later is not a zombie movie. The, the zombies, as you call them in this movie, are filled with rage. So it's not... A zombie movie it's people with rage that are attacking other people now when you hear something like that you can only almost, almost get taken aback like you know in every zombie movie you can make the argument that the zombies the monsters the people that are infected whatever that they're not zombies zombies originally from my understanding were like possessed corpses or people by like witch doctors and then throughout time it's become oh chemicals get in them and they become infected and they get a virus and then when they bite people uh the, the person they bite or scratch or re salivate on they turn into them that's like the modern conception of zombies and in this movie even though it's not like a bacterial infection or something like that it's it's apparently rage incarnate and um uh, a monkey was infected infected was the word used with and in the movie, they're all referred to as infected, but modern conception of a zombie, it's a virus that passes on, it wants to pass on, that's why they're attacking people and not other infected people. But that's how zombies were conceived. If you want to go go on a thing about, oh, well, they're not zombies, I mean, there, are, there aren't many zombie movies then, because there's a very specific, you know... <laughs> way zombies were originally conceived and then you, there's many different ways you have to subscribe to one of those and be like okay these are zombie movies but mass consensus what a zombie is nowadays it has formed like everything else everything changes welcome to the world it's a zombie movie right and if you have a problem with that that's fine you could probably back it up but mainly for the sake of the review zombie movie so in this, the main character, Jim, uh, there's really, really great characterization in this movie. I'm going to try to keep this relatively spoiler-free, the rage things at the beginning of the movie. Um, uh, everything I'm going to really talk about plot-wise, I'm just going to try to keep it at the beginning of the movie. Um, uh, but uh, So essentially what happens is the infection spreads, obviously. The zombie-esque th situation's going on. A society's collapsed, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, you start mid, mid, a mid problem here, which is really nice because uh, sometimes, sometimes you know, those the setup as much as it's needed. Sometimes it kind of gets in the way of the overall plot, and that's a, typically where a lot of people can fumble the ball in films is trying to make an event happen. In this, the main character Jim was in a coma before you know the the problem started, and then when it. When it finally did happen, he was in the coma, and zombies never bothered him because I mean he stayed in that one room. He was super quiet, blah blah blah. blah. So he got away with it. Um, uh, the door on his end was like closed off too, so he was like he was fine. So he wakes up from this coma, and he and he comes into this world where it's just it's empty, no one's on the streets, and he's you know he's free to yell because in this movie, the zombies typically stay away from the sunlight um, uh, because of something with their eyes, and they so they stay out of the sunlight for the most part. Um, so you have to go to dark places or go out at night to, like, actually have, have zombies around. So he's walking around town, he's, like, yelling and stuff like that. And the, the, on, uh, yeah, and he slowly, like, he never actually figures out where the infection comes from, but he figures out, you know, where, because it's not, that's not something he's worried about. The people in this movie aren't necessarily, oh, where did the infected come from? How do we cure them? It's literally like, oh, man, like, how do we survive? And it brings up another really cool point in this movie. Um, in other zombie movies, it's more like, oh man, we gotta kill him, we gotta cure him, we gotta kill him, we gotta cure him all the time, every single movie. In this movie, it's more like, man, like, I wonder if they starve to death. And if they do, I wonder how long it takes. Because, you know, they're people. They're not, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're infected people. Um, 
and in, in this particular movie, none of them were dead beforehand. They were alive and then infected. And things like Night of the Living Dead and blah, 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 they come up from the graves. So, obviously, you know, they're starving to death. It's probably out of the question there. But, yeah, a big part of this movie is just trying to outlive the zombies, which is, it's, it's a neat aspect. These are the kind of zombies that run at you, and essentially their goal is to get you in any way so that they're, they're very big on spewing blood and um, uh, different animals can get infected. So, like... Um, uh, there's like crows and rats and stuff that are infected that are trying to spread the infection. It's very interesting and it's very well done. Uh, there is no CG that I can remember in this movie. If, and if there, if therefore, if it was CG, it was very well executed. Um, uh, almost all practical effects, great zombie, you know, noises and stuff like that. And uh, character development between Selena and Jim are really good. And then they run into a family and there's, there's like, there's awesome development there. It, the the plot is pretty sound. Uh, zombie movies, you know, a lot of time have that little cookie cutter kind of shape. And this one came out in tandem with a bunch of zombie movies. It's right, it was right at be right right at the beginning of when the, like the, the big craze for zombie movies started, um, uh, in the uh, mid to late two thousands. That era, you know, like Dawn of the Dead and all those coming out at once. Um, it was it kind of got lost in there. And this this is a movie that you know it's it's a great movie, but it's like a lot, a lot of people ended up missing it. And it's definitely it's definitely worth getting a hold of and watching. It is, it, it's um uh, you you get you gain this really strong emotional um uh, connection with the characters. They uh you you know you feel if someone does or doesn't die like or if they might it, you, you 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 it has you. It works very well as a thriller in that aspect. It works very well as a horror movie because of some of the scenes that you do end up seeing. So it's definitely, definitely worth the watch, worth the catch it. If you're going to, you know, want to have a zombie marathon night this week or this month because, you know, Halloween's are coming or on Halloween, this is definitely one that needs to be on your list, especially if you haven't seen it. It uh, eventually got a sequel 28 weeks later, which doesn't have the original characters, but it's still in the, set in the same world. It's it's not quite as good as 28 Days in my opinion, but it's, it's, a, it's a watchable movie. But 28 Days Later, you need to check it out is definitely 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 worth the watch it's it's got awesome sights it's ah, cinematography is great the plot's great character's great dialogue's pretty good it's there's a lot there right and uh you get your laughing moments you get your crying moments and you get your oh my god what do i do with my life moments there it's 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 got everything it's very very well done movie it's not super long um, uh, so I would definitely, definitely check it out. Yeah, so this has been The Chief Ash on 28 Days Later with hopefully a mostly spoiler-free review. And I will see you again this month. So, keep watching.